home office hacks for the new entrepreneur save time and money so you're a big shot entrepreneur now huh Ooh, big shot right nobody can see you nobody can see you they you know uh, I, I think it's so funny when people say well I'm an entrepreneur now I don't even know what that means outside of the fact that I know you're gonna have to work a lot harder than you did on your job for the other guy that was paying you I know that for a fact and I know in the beginning you're gonna make less money so you might as well set it up right and this video is all about setting up your home office um, I want you to I want to get one thing out of the way that whether you're a teenager or you're an adult or whoever whatever age you are when you're listening to this you can make money online I just want to get that out of the way some of you may not realize that I have a lot of comments uh, from teenagers and saying you know how, how do I make money as a teenager the same way you would make money as a 25 year old because the people online don't go hey I think I want to buy this Bell right here but how old is the person that's selling it I want to know they don't they never do so you've got to understand that online it's it's an equalizer they don't care what race you are they don't care what your gender is they don't care about anything they care about the product whatever product they're buying so don't worry about it you know I just want to get that out of the way because so many people are like am I too old to make money online uh, I started when I was 50 okay and I didn't think I was too old I don't think I'm too old now and it's I'm older now than I was then okay but the point is it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how tall you are it doesn't matter what you weigh it does what well, for your health it does sure it does don't don't get out of shape but uh, it doesn't matter it's irrelevant so we're going to talk about setting up your office saying we want to save money um, that's why we want to do this and I want you to think in this 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 way of thinking because I didn't in the beginning and I should have save money conserve money and I, I'm not bad at it never was bad at it uh, but there were things I bought before that I probably shouldn't have bought because I was anticipating more money coming in and it didn't at points and I was it was tight okay so now I'm really conservative about what I buy I think about it over and over I rarely will just go online see something and buy it I wait till at least you know a day or two uh, if I wait a day or two a lot of times the urge to buy it will go away and I want you to do the same thing with your home office and I also want you to think about the fact that you need to conserve uh, all you can in your home office because probably nobody's gonna see it let's decide how we're gonna do this first thing we're gonna do is decide our work office space where's our work office space this is my work office space for videos but you know what my work office space is also a TV tray and the couch in many cases in my living room now I never have the TV on when I'm working I just don't do that I think that's a bad idea matter of fact I rarely have the TV on unless it's after 9 or 10 o'clock at night uh, and then I don't have long to watch it and I don't even watch it long then maybe an hour and then I'm gonna get in bed and get my laptop out and do a little bit more work or maybe watch a YouTube video or something like that um, but think about your workspace because if you're in the wrong space it's gonna be hard for you to be productive create your floor plan now you say well jr i don't have any room i'm in a one bedroom apartment what's my floor i don't have a floor plan well i'll tell you i had a pretty large house when i started uh, my home-based business but i knew that i didn't want to go to some other room some other place in the house some room upstairs and work i wouldn't have enjoyed that so in my bedroom uh, i put a small desk and i had my computer and that was my workspace that was my floor plan okay so your floor plan doesn't have to be elaborate it can be a desk and it can be a chair uh, if you notice on my desk i don't even have a desktop computer i did a few years ago but i just got rid of it i never used it i always use this laptop this is my whole business right here this is my business okay so if something happens to this i'm kind of screwed but this is my business you don't have to have a lot quit thinking that you have to have three monitors to get all these things done I love seeing people with all these monitors and in the arms going up and all these things when I know they can only concentrate on one thing at a time people say well I multitask that way that way I can watch no you're not multitasking there's no such thing as multitasking it doesn't exist we've been sold a bad bill of goods here's what happens with your brain it can only think of one thing at a time it can only concentrate on one thing at a time so if you've got three things going on what it's doing is it's switching from this thing to this thing to this thing like there's three monitors and it's going back and forth constantly which what it's also doing is it's not doing service to all three of those things at the same time so you know that you're, you're not doing any of the things well you're just doing a whole bunch of things that you think you're doing at the same time you can't multitask you only need one screen right here this is it some people will argue with me I don't care you can't multitask not possible next thing is determine what you can do yourself you know before you start hiring accountants and you start hiring lawyers and graphic arts people and SEO people and website designers and all that crap stop what can you do yourself I didn't have an accountant in the beginning 
I didn't need an accountant. I had nothing to account for. I had no money. So why would I need an accountant? Everybody says, you got to go out and get an accountant right away. No, you can get some accounting advice, but you don't need an accountant when you don't have any money. I'm telling you, there's not much for them to do. Um, same thing with uh, SEO. You know, I tried to learn my own SEO and I did my own SEO. I built my own websites as far as I could. And then when I had to hire somebody, I did, but decide what you can do on your own to save some money. You'll want to conserve money. You're going to, you're going to trust me on this later on because things will go wrong and you're going to be glad you saved your money. Next thing I'll tell you for setting up your home office is use what you've got. Use what you've got in the beginning. I didn't have a desk like this in the beginning. I had this old metal thing. Uh, that I've had for years and years and years and moved it across country and that was my desk okay uh, I didn't have any fancy computer I had old desktop computer and that, that was what I had uh, and if I wanted something to motivate me I'd get some pictures of my kids or something and put them on the desk you probably don't need to buy anything if you've got a comfortable chair in your house it doesn't have to be an office chair here's the problem with you watching this video right now you're seeing this nice fancy desk and fancy chair and nice equipment and all this stuff I didn't have this stuff in the beginning these are things I don't even need now but I have them now because I earned some money and I felt like yeah I'll go ahead and get it now now I get it but I these things didn't earn me money so don't think that you got to have these things to earn money because they didn't make me money they really didn't and they probably aren't really making me money now maybe it makes the video look a little bit better something like that but in the beginning you don't need any of this because for the most part nobody's gonna see you anyhow I didn't do videos like this in the beginning I was selling products online I did e-commerce which I still do um, so I didn't need to have all these accoutrements here all these fancy things they weren't necessary um, I think for doing YouTube videos it's helpful it maybe makes it a little bit more interesting you got this bell here you got this guy here going like this hey it looks pretty interesting for my YouTube videos but it's not what made me the money in the beginning and it won't make you money either conserve your money try to use what you already have you know you can construct a DIY office setup let's say you need file cabinets and if you notice I don't even have file cabinets because I don't have files but if you had two file cabinets you could lay a board across it and boom you've got a desk it's that simple and I think it's so funny when people try to start a business and they think they need certain furnishings to make it happen they don't you know I'll tell you the majority of the work that I've done before the sickness hit the world was done at a Starbucks on their table and their seat okay I didn't even use my own chair and table I used theirs I would sit there for two three four hours and use their free internet you don't need all this stuff that's why this video is so important to somebody who's been through it and who spent money on that stuff and realized I didn't need it and that's not what made me money it was my effort that made me money it wasn't my office set up uh, so many people say well I got to get the coolest office set up no get some shoe boxes and stack them up if you've got a printer and stuff like that. I don't need, I don't even have a printer in my office uh, my wife has one in her office and once every two or three months we'll print something but we pretty much went paperless uh, if I have paper coming in and that was the only way I could uh, I could stay organized my desk used to have papers everywhere papers every, it was terrible papers everywhere now what I do is if I get a piece of paper uh, which I don't want it I don't want any paper but if I do get a piece of paper I look at it and I say is this important or not important if it's not important I shred it okay if it's got you know pertinent information on it um, and if it is important I will take a picture of it or I'll scan it uh, and then I put it online or I put it on a disc or somewhere then I get rid of that piece of paper I don't have any paper I don't want paper don't need paper now I will tell you I used to use a lot of paper I used to print out a lot of stuff uh, and you can't see it but I've got a, a file cabinet kind of closet over there and I've got reams of paper because I bought one of those big boxes of paper when I started using it not long after I bought that paper I quit using paper so now I've got a lot of paper don't know what to do with it next thing I'll tell you is shop around for cheap bargains look at swap meets look at flea markets um, you know go go into the Facebook marketplace or there's actually some uh, buy nothing groups in Facebook now where you could get a desk for free you get a chair for free you don't need the stuff you don't need it nobody's gonna see you okay nobody's gonna see you um, it, it's so funny how people think they need all these nice new shiny things uh, because they have a new business you don't need them you don't need them you don't even need an office okay I could I could have just not done this video and said just go someplace that has internet you could pull up in front of KFC KFC has some of the best internet by the way that's a, that's a little known secret right there you could get up you could pull up in your car and get a tray I have a tray that hooks on the steering wheel and I can put my laptop right there and I can work in front of a KFC there's my office there's my office set up but that's not what this video is about I get it I get it we got to get back to what the real office is but you can also accept free furniture there's a lot of free furniture out there that people want to get rid of I know I had a bunch of file cabinets from my old office and I said well I've got some nice file cabinets I'm gonna sell these and you know there's a few hundred bucks here 
uh and i can tell you ultimately i gave them all away because nobody would i, I went to the goodwill and pulled up with file cabinets and you know what they said we don't accept them you don't accept them this is free though they say i know but we get so many we just we don't have anything to do with it. nobody wants a file cabinet uh, and then it was then i realized that paper is useless okay because nobody's filing anything anymore file cabinets are gone i don't know who the file cabinet salesmen were if that was even a job uh, but they don't have a job anymore that's done something else you can do is swap with friends talk to some of your friends online i'm sure there's a facebook group about that where you can swap stuff uh, i know my wife uses the buy nothing group and you can go in there and there's stuff there every single day in the buy nothing group uh, we're in san diego now and we have a buy nothing group here and i know there's one in texas where we're moving to uh, but you can go in one of these groups and i'm sure you can furnish your office for nothing um, so if you clicked on this video thinking i'm going to learn how to decorate a really cool office i'm an entrepreneur who's here to tell you don't spend your money don't do it not necessary okay certain things you need to spend money on and you're going to need money for that uh, i do youtube videos so i have to have a decent camera i have to have some decent lighting doesn't mean you need them because you can start in the beginning by standing right in front of a window and filming from the window to your face and that will give you the lighting that you need you can use your iphone because when i started the cameras on the iphones they were not this good they're really good now I can shoot 4k on my iphone video 4k video on my iphone okay so you don't even need a dslr camera not necessary you don't need it but you know i have it now you know we have the stuff and you know i've got the cordless microphone you don't need a cordless microphone you know i'll put a link in the description down there there's a wired microphone you can get if you want to have your camera further away from you uh, if you if you're going to have your iphone any more than three feet away from you yeah you're probably going to need you know a, a microphone of some sort but you don't have to get an expensive one not necessary wait on all this stuff guys don't buy stuff if you have to put anything on a credit card especially if you're quitting your job to be an entrepreneur or that's what you've already done don't put anything in your credit card just not necessary to do that um, understand these people aren't going to see you especially if you're e-commerce or you're doing a course or whatever it is you know you need this basic stuff most everybody has everything they need to have a home office right now you've got a telephone you've got a light you've got sunshine uh, you've probably got some place to sit wherever you live and if you want to put stuff on here uh, you know oftentimes i'll have a pillow on my lap at night with my laptop on top of that and that's my desk so don't think you need all this stuff but do try to designate an area where you're going to work where you're not going to be disturbed i hope this video is helpful to you i hope it gave you some insight may not be what you have wanted you may have wanted to decorate this really cool office I, i'm not a decorator guy okay i'm a guy who's here to tell you how to make money online and how to save your money so that you have money because if you have money you have security you if you have money you've got freedom so i'd much rather you had that money and you had that freedom and security uh, and you could do what you want with your time then you had a fancy office fancy offices you don't need them but i do like my desk okay i do like my desk custom desk had it built uh, a couple years ago I'm very happy with it it's very heavy if you saw the stand below that's also all welded and kind of cool too nobody even sees it didn't need the stand below did i didn't need it nobody sees it oh well thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget the important thing you need to do for your home office is to subscribe to this channel you gotta go down there and hit that subscribe button smash it hard give me a thumbs up don't forget ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time i do a video or i go live and i go live very often i would love to meet you and i would love to talk to you also put in the comment section any questions you may have anything you want to know if you've got questions about selling online marketing online that's all we talk about on this channel uh, and i want to help you out i really do so i appreciate those comments and questions down there if you've got stories about your home office put it in the comment section below i would love to hear about it thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it as a token of my appreciation i have a 97 dollars course and it's down in the description for a limited time you can just click and learn and get it absolutely free no credit card required thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel